Hey guys, today we're doing a install for electrical for an AC unit. So we got our disconnect here, we got our AC unit. So the basic gist of this is we want to bring power from our penetration, which is right here. That's going to take us to our panel and we want to bring it up and we want to mount our disconnect here and then continue on the power from that into our AC unit. This is a relatively simple install. Uh, you want to check your ratings on your panel here. Make sure that your max fuse or breaker circuit is what you're using. We're going to use number 10 today, which is rated for 30 amps here in Canada. So we're just gonna show a quick connection of the liquid tight that we have here. First things first, we wanna get our nut on. A little twist never hurt nobody. And then this is threaded, you can see that. So it threads into the armor. And then bring that up there and then that threads into your nut. And then you have a liquid tight connection. Perfect. Tighten that up with your channies. So I'm just breaking the Lumex here that we just slid through our liquid tight. We got our bottom end coming out here. That's gonna go into our AC unit. We got our first end coming into our disconnect and we still need a feed from our panel. Okay, here we're gonna do our install of our disconnect. So we wanna do our grounds first. And then you're gonna see labeled on the top of here, you're gonna have a line and a load side of this. So your line side is coming from your panel and your load side is gonna come from your AC unit. That's the load. You gotta make sure everything's nice and snug. always want to make sure that these connections are tight you always do a pull test after so you're pulling down on it and making sure that it's not slipping out of there and then tighten it up again because you'll create a little space in there after you're doing that and it doesn't matter which side goes on either one you could do black white white black because all you're trying to do is bring 240 out of here. This is all still single phase, so it shouldn't matter which colors you're doing on what. So here we kind of have the finished product. Checking all our connections. So here's the knife part where we actually are either on or off. So this way would be off because you can see it says off. This way you can feel the pressure as I apply it in. That means that it's on. Okay, so it's a little tight in here guys, but I'm gonna try to show you a couple parts here. So this is my grounding lug. We're gonna throw our ground under there. And uh, because we brought Lumex in here, you're gonna see here a white and a black. Don't get confused, that's not a neutral. We're bringing 240 volt from the panel up here. So uh, we're gonna terminate to our L1 here and our L2. I 
guy needs to be just a smidgey shorter. Make sure those are tight, tug test everything. Bring your white up here as well to your L2 spot. You don't want copper coming out the bottom. That's just copper that somebody's gonna end up touching on your termination points. And it literally is that simple to bring the 240 over here. So we're just making our terminations here at the panel with our number 10. We have our 30 amp two pole breaker. So we're just gonna tie our ground in here. Make sure we have a good bond. And then we wanna tie in our 240. So we're not gonna have a neutral here. We just got two lines coming into this breaker. Tug test every time. Perfect.